People see us everywhere. They think you really care. But myself, I can't deceive. I know it's only make Someday you care My hopes and my dreams come true My one and only you And no one will ever know How much I love you so My only prayer will be Someday you care for me But it's only me Believe My dreams come true My life I give for you My heart a wedding ring My all, my everything My heart I can't control You rule my very soul Someday you care My hopes, my dreams come true My one and only you No one will ever know How much I love you so My prayers, my hopes, and my schemes You are my every dream But it's only me How's tricks, Joey? Not in the mood, Eddie. Oh, not in the mood? Get diagnosed with the clap again? C COVID? Huh? There. You got what you wanted. Now where's my money? I don't know, Joey. Seems a little late. Maybe I should open it and check, huh? Maybe you should shut the fuck up and give me my money. All right. I like that. What do we agree on? Five? Four? It's over Three? Now. Five? Five. Five. It's always five. The usual. You know, it's funny. You should really be careful. Being out this late. There's a lot of psychos running around. You gotta be careful. You called me, remember? I called you. You got your fucking briefcase. I got my money. Good night, pal. I'm just looking out for my favorite bag, man. Hey. Any fucking idiot could do this job, all right, man? Yeah, but you're the idiot, right? And you're doing it. Joe, just tell me you remember this. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Oh. Right? Right? You remember that? In the, in the, all right. I'm going to catch you. I'm, gonna, I'm, no, I'm going to. I'm going to. All right. Sleep at all at night. Just a thinking of you. Maybe things weren't right. When I was tossing and turning, turning and tossing, oh, tossing and turning all night. I kicked the blankets on the floor. left without a word. I wrote a letter. You think that makes it better? I'm not expecting us to be better. Been waiting long? Didn't expect you to call. I thought we could talk. There's nothing left to talk about. So you just leave and I'm supposed to accept that? I accepted a lot of things. I accepted that you're a bag man. 
that you never did anything with your life. There's no future for us. So I ask myself, what's the point? I ordered you a coffee. It's the last thing you'll ever get from me. You met someone else, haven't you? I haven't met anyone except the reflection in the mirror. I am not going to try and decipher that. There's nothing to decipher. Just accept it. Just like this. There's no way I can talk you out of this, can I? I wondered why I'd come to meet you. I tossed and I turned. I tried to come to some reasoning. Something that made a bit of sense. And the only thing I could think was that I owed you this. I don't like goodbyes, Joe. I never have. Then don't say goodbye. Let's say we made this work. What would change? Change? See, that's it. The question change. We fear it. A year from now, we'll still be working for Slime Boy. I provided. Money is not enough. Money is everything. You'll never see past that. So this is about money. Not enough? What? Joe. You're in your mid-forties, and I'm not getting any younger. We're not married. We have no kids. We live in a city that's tearing itself apart. And you'll never leave it, because your job is here. I can almost understand. For once in your life, do something that's right and understand me. Running low on emotional fumes for you, Joe. Nearly out of gas. I can change. We'll move. I'll find a better job. You're a criminal, Joe. It'll just be the same shit. With new clients and new nicknames. Goodbye. Make the best with what you have. And try to do something good. Maybe for someone other than yourself. Cecilia. At least let me walk you to the car. It's late. And it's not safe out there with that lunatic running loose and gutting anyone. He's on the west side of town. I'll be fine. You can watch me through the window. Watch you disappear. Systematic operation of nothingness. What? Systematic operation of nothingness. It means you don't expect anything from anyone or anything of anything. And by not expecting nothing, hopefully you'll get somewhere with doing absolutely nothing. System, I see you following almost every night. Hey, Milo. Ain't you even supposed to be in business? Till the bars reopen, I'm the last game in town. Besides, if I wasn't in business, you would have no business. Is Eddie's money? I'll give it to him tomorrow. I just saw him. All right, all right. Don't worry, Josh, he'll come back. Ah, uh, thanks, Deb. But I think it's too far gone this time. Jane B. Milo. Sure. Been a while, Joe. Help me out. So what are you doing tonight, Joe? You're looking at it. Let's 
go somewhere more comfortable. Hey, he's up on the guy, Sonia. Fuck you, Milo. Mind your goddamn business. Come on, what do you think this is? A fucking brothel? It's a place of business. Why are you always gonna be hounding me like he's this? He's having a tough time. Leave him the fuck alone. Stay out of mine. You worry about you. Do your what job. What are you doing? Joe, you all right? Come, come on. on. Don't, don't worry about this shit. I gotta go. Joe, come on. She's just fucking around. Come on, Joe. J Jesus fucking Christ. Look what you did. Hey, you're the one who had to run your mouth. We were doing just fine. Oh, fucking hate. Hi, friend. I know you? Well, no. Well, yes. I know you. You're Joe Maxwell. You do bag work for Slimeball Eddie. I used to do bag work for him, too, but he fired me. What do you want? Well, I got this I got this briefcase right here, and, and boy, it's awfully heavy, and I just need to go to the west side, and I know that I... I, I don't know. I, I'm just... I can't explain myself. Oh, come Oh, no, 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 see, nothing like that. Like I said, I, I have this briefcase, and I and I need someone to take me to the west side. You so need a bag man this late. Well, I, I know that west side slasher is out there, as the media is calling him, and... I'm I, tired. Come back tomorrow. Oh, no, Joe, please, it's just Riverfront Park. That's a 20-minute drive from here. I, I know, please, Joe, please, see, five grand. I know your price. Eddie always said, five grand for Joe Maxwell. I got it right here. See? Five grand. It's just that West Side Slasher's out there, and he, he, he scares me. Yeah. So what, you need protection as well? Well... I, you have a car, and I don't really have a car, and I just thought that you could drive me, and we could drop All this right. off together, All right. you know? All right. Thank you. I'm Mikey, by the way. Yeah. Mikey Dow. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, he's a car. Had to get rid of that. Can't be seen walking around with that in town. Listen, I'm not gonna ask questions because this ain't any, ain't any of my business, okay? Oh, that's okay. I don't like noisy peepers anyways, always asking questions. Not today, little Johnny. Not today. Woo! Today you're gonna see what the inside of your head looks like. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh, noisy little peepers. Little nosy little peepers in my backyard. Okay, um, I'm just gonna drive mm -hmm. and drop you off wherever you want to be dropped off. Oh, okay. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe Maxwell. You're a good man. Not like the little little girls that taunt me. Aha, aha, aha. Right. Okay, friend? Uh, the tire was making a weird sound. Oh, oh, cars. We put all our faith and trust into them, but they just let us down. Just like people. We put all our faith and trust into them, and they, they just let us down. Yeah, tell me about it. You see, I'm not really a people person. I kind of like that West Side Slasher. He's not really a people person either. I heard he chopped up a baby in the hospital because it was crying too loud. See, it was crying. I thought he only killed joggers and people of the night like hookers and crackheads. Oh, I don't know. I'm just being a silly billy. Silly billy jilly, that's me. I'm silly Mikey, look at me. I'm so silly all the time. It's snookums and snars. Okay, well, uh, 
Good night, Mikey. Well, no, wait, hold on. No, wait, please don't leave, Joe Maxwell. See, well, I don't really have many friends, and I just really need a friend right now to hang out with. I was thinking maybe me and you could go down to Slimeball Eddie's, and we could visit some of his whores, and we could spank their butts, and then we can get our butts spanked. You'd like getting your butts spanked. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But I've had a pretty rough day, and I really don't want to listen to this shit right now. No, it's not shit, Joe Maxwell. See, I've seen the human fall out of the belly and rummage through the cold, filthy concrete. I've seen it. Listen, man! You're starting to creep me the fuck out! Creep? Creep? I'm not a creep, Joe Maxwell. You're a creep. And I'm going to tell you what I did to those beautiful little boys after I fucked them with the ass and slit their throats. You're going to get fucked with the ass. Yeah, yeah, come here. Yeah. Oh, Joe Maxwell. You know I laughed <laughs> when he left me. 